The guy was an old high school buddy of mine, we dated from time to time. When we broke up, he started dating Kelly's girlfriend, and when we broke up for good, he married her. Almost a year after we broke up, I came back to town for the summer after college and ran into him at my summer job. He told me a heartwarming story about how Kelly was going to divorce him and take the baby away. I, foolishly, believed him, we exchanged numbers, started talking every day. He invited me over to his apartment, showed me the divorce papers, and we ended up having a sexual relationship for a few weeks. I must admit, he was great in bed. His tongue worked better than his banana. With one tongue, he could make me scream out loud. I would then grab his head with my legs in a fit of emotion. One day I went to his house to pick up a pair of earrings I'd forgotten the day before. The door was opened by his best friend from high school. I asked if Guy was there, and the friend said no, why would he be there? It turned out that Guy was actually sitting at his best friend's house, it wasn't his apartment. The best friend also informed me that Guy and his wife were in the process of buying a house, their marriage was fine. I was beyond angry and disgusted. The next day I arrived at work and Kelly was standing there. I asked her what she was doing late at night and if she was available to talk. We met after I left and I laid it all out for her. She got a little teary-eyed, but in the end she was angry. She gives me her address and tells me to show up unannounced the next day. I show up and Guy, white as a sheet, tries to get me to leave. Kelly shows up and they get into a screaming match. Guy ended up getting a divorce and a share of the alimony because his wife told the right people about Guy's potted plants. None of us talk anymore. When I think about it, I have to take at least two showers.